Now let's look at a rotary spreader calibration where we determine the product required to deliver a known amount of nutrient. For this example, we've selected a 4500 source. This is urea. And we're going to deliver a desired level of 0.75, that's 3 quarters of a pound of nitrogen per 1,000 square feet. We've determined that the width of spread with this product is 12 feet using this rotary spreader. And we measure off a calibration length of 83.3 feet. Uh, that would give you 83.3 times 12 would give us a nice round number of 1,000 square feet. So if we've got the area to work with, it makes sense to do this. That's what we've done. We've measured off 83.3 feet. So our calibration area is 1,000 square feet. We place five pounds of product in the spreader hopper and we attach a spreader skirt to the spreader to collect the fertilizer that's going to be applied over the calibration course. So again, we are going to collect the material rather than simply applying it to the calibration area. How much 4500 should be collected over the calibration course in order to deliver 3 quarters of a pound of nitrogen per thousand square feet while using 4500? So we take all this information, and it sounds quite complex, but this is actually a pretty straightforward uh, cal calculation. And if we look at the desired level, which is 0 0.75 pounds of nitrogen, and remember we take the level of nutrient divided by the nutrient analysis, which in this case is 45 percent. 0.75 pounds of nitrogen divided by 0.45 equals 1.7 pounds of 45.00. Zero. So what we would want to do is to collect 1.7 pounds of 45.00 over that area. And in this case, if we have a spreader skirt on, we could do a couple different things. We could apply 1.7 pounds of the fertilizer into the spreader and walk our calibration run and see if can we get uh, pretty close to putting that amount out over that total area. Perhaps we could even start with a known amount in the spreader, let's say 5 pounds, and then we would simply measure it when we're done and we could either collect 1.7 pounds out of the, uh, the spreader skirt or if we did not have an attachment to collect the fertilizer, we could actually say start with 5 pounds of the 4500. We know we need 1.7 left, so to apply that, 5 pounds minus 1.7 pounds equals, you'd need 3.3 pounds of 4500 remaining in the hopper. Okay, and either way that we would do this, our end result is that we want to apply 1.7 pounds of 4500 over the 1,000 square foot area. Now, let's quickly run through an example in case you do not have enough area to um, measure precisely 1,000 square feet. Let's say that the area that we had available to work with was only a 50 foot long course run. So 50 foot in length times a 12 foot wide fertilizer spread. Remember this comes from the problem up here. That's what we've determined how wide the, th the throw is. That is 600 square feet now in our calibration area. We've just determined above that we need 1.7 pounds 4500 to every thousand square feet. How much would we need X, our unknown pounds of 4500 over our new calibration area, which is 600 square feet? Right? Remember proportions? We cross multiply, divide, and solve for X. So we're going to have 1.7 times 600, and we're proportioning that out to 1,000 times x. Now divide both sides by 1,000. So you do your multiplication over here, then your division, and you end up with x 
equals approximately one pound, it's about 1.02 pounds, but we'll round it off and say roughly one pound in our units of 4500 is how much we would collect over a calibration area of 600 square feet. So these examples are showing you how to determine how much product is required to deliver a desired level of the nutrient. And again, using a spreader skirt or some means of collecting the product keeps you from applying it over an area over and over again. And uh, being able to measure off uh, calibration lengths in relationship to your width of spread on a thousand square foot basis makes it a pretty easy calculation right from the start.